Hi, this is Gregory from Code for Fun and we are on lesson 7 of our Python and Drones course. Today we are going to learn how drones can be used to detect images, to compare images and to actually see whether this is the right image or not. According to our scenario, we are going to use this drone to patrol our ad gallery where we have three beautiful images, Einstein, Mona Lisa and Salvador Dali. Um, we are going to program our drone to be able to detect each of the images by flying next to them, looking into them with its video camera, moving to the next one and then moving to the next one. Uh, then according to our scenario we will steal one of the images, take it off and then we will see if the drone can actually detect the stolen image or we may replace a stolen image with something else. For example, with a mission pad and see if the drone can actually detect that the artwork was replaced with another artwork. Let's see if it's going to work. Begin by navigating to the following URL and downloading all the files. Print out the source pictures to stick up on the gallery. Save the template images and our code into the same folder. We will start by importing our Tello library as well as Time and CV2. CV2 is a computer vision library that includes pattern recognition. We will store the names of the template files in an array. These will be listed in the order we have stuck them up. Then we will start the video and launch our drone. Now we will cycle through every art in the artworks array, check whether the drone sees a match and store that in a result variable. We will print whether the art is still in the gallery with the boolean result. If the result is false, then we will print out that the artwork has been stolen and break out our loop. After we have checked each artwork, we will move to the next one. Finally, after the loop, we will land the drone. Our code is missing the most important part, the template matching process to check whether the drone can see the template in the artwork. We will create our check template function with the file name as the argument. We will use CV2's image reader to read the file and store it in a variable named template. Then we will check for the artwork 10 times. If the video is turned on, we will store it in a variable named frame. We will convert it to grayscale for easier recognition and store the recognition results using the CV2 function match template. We will use a template matching formula called correlation coefficient normalized. We will set the threshold to 0 0.7. We will cycle through all values in the two-dimensional result array. If the value is greater than or equal to the threshold, we will return true as one of the features in the video feed is a match. Still inside our check template function, but at the very end we will return false since it's cycled through every feature 10 times and found no matches. Right now let's test this code. Beautiful. As you can see, our drone detected all our images. Now let's remove one of the images. I'll take Mona Lisa off. 
and we'll put it aside. Now, after we have stolen Mona Lisa, let's try and run this code again. Einstein is detected. Mona Lisa is obviously not there. Let's see how our drone reacts to it. It doesn't see the image of Mona Lisa, so it's not flying further. It detected that it was stolen and therefore it lands. After it lands, it will print the report that the Mona Lisa was stolen. Let's have a look. Mona Lisa is in the gallery. False. Mona Lisa has been stolen. Very well done. Students can discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using drones in art galleries. Are there any other security measures galleries can use to stop art thieves?